With the recent release of the Angler on console, the Angler is getting a lot of attention right now and this game is only getting better. In today's video, we are going to try to answer this question. Is the Angler worth your money? Now, this is a question that you can only answer for yourself, but I am going to try and make this question a lot easier to answer in today's video. I'm gonna take you through the game, what you can expect from it, all the good things and the not so good things so that you can make an informed decision that is right for you. Now, the first point I'm going to make is let's have a look at the title. It's called Call of the Wild, The Angler. So right out of the gate, we know this is a Call of the Wild game. It is made by Expansive Worlds. That is a very good thing. Why, you might ask? Well, if you do play Call of the Wild, the hunter Call of the Wild, I mean, and you do love that game, you are more than likely going to really enjoy The Angler. First of all, look at these graphics. The graphics in The Angler angler are absolutely stunning just the way they are in the hunter call of the wild not only do we get amazing graphics in the game but ew continually updates their games they're really great with taking community feedback and implementing them in the game they really want to give us the games that we want with the features that we want the hunter call of the wild is definitely a faster paced hunting game and i would say that the angler is also a faster paced game now whether that is is a good thing or a bad thing for you, you will have to decide for yourself. Now, the angler will definitely be more simplified than IRL fishing is, but let me tell you guys, it is a super fun game. Now, I have not been playing it for a very long time. I tried it when it first came out a year ago. I played it for a little bit and then I did stop playing it. I can tell you, I picked it up about less than a week ago and I've been playing it pretty hard since then. I can actually tell you how many hours I have. I have put in 74 hours in the last few days. So that's a lot. I am currently at level 22, just to give you an idea of how much I have been playing lately. Now, I didn't really expect to enjoy this game. I thought to myself, I'm never going to have the passion for fish that I do for catching animals in Call of the Wild, in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm going to have a hard time not just calling it Call of the Wild. Going to have to get used to calling it the Hunter. But I have definitely changed my mind on that. This game has got me. It is so much fun and it can be very, very addicting. Just like the Hunter Call of the Wild. It is very accessible. You don't need to be a pro to play this game, which is great because I am so not a pro. Whether or not you have IRL fishing experience, you can definitely learn and get into this game regardless. I have pretty much no experience with IRL fishing or other fishing games and I'm doing pretty great. Just hit level 22 and last night I caught my very first diamond fish. It was a largemouth bass and here it is right here. The angler isn't too grindy to acquire the top gear. It is going to take some time and some work but it's not nearly as grindy as some other games can be. If you are looking for a true to life fishing experience this might not be your best choice. The angler is a fishing sim but it is without dedicating a pile of time to succeed. Having IRL knowledge will absolutely help you but it definitely is not not required. If you do have knowledge of different techniques, knowledge on lures, and which fish are attracted to them, this will all translate into the game and will definitely help you to learn the game faster. But is it absolutely necessary? Absolutely not. You can definitely learn and the game is actually pretty great at teaching you along the way. I would say it's definitely better in that regard than the Hunter Call of the Wild is with the tutorials and the missions. Missions are fantastic for leveling up, getting XP, getting more cash, and learning the game. Now getting back to the graphics, this is a big one. This game is absolutely stunning. You can tell the amount of work that they have put into it. EW makes absolutely visually stunning maps and the angler is absolutely no different. And this lends itself to being a very relaxing game. That's what I love about it. I can sit and chill and just cast out, talk to your friends, get a bite, pull it in. You know, it's just a very relaxed experience and it really is a social game. And that is our next point. The Angler has multiplayer. It is definitely set up differently from the Hunter Call of the Wild. When you're playing the Angler, you're going to be on dedicated servers. The map is hosted by the studio and not by the players, which is absolutely amazing. This definitely helps us by preventing cheating. You can't ghost a map because it's not your map to ghost. The servers are not owned by the players. And every time you join a server, you will have a brand new pop 
population of fish every single time. With the angler, you are meant to be playing online with friends and you can actually get 12 players onto a map. That is so awesome. And the other thing is, no one can affect your fish on a server but you. No one can ruin your experience or spook your fish. This definitely is not the case with the Hunter Call of the Wild. When you jump onto any multiplayer server in the Hunter Call of the Wild, other players can definitely ruin your hunt, spook your animals, steal your kills. It is definitely going to be a much more positive experience in multiplayer for the angler. And the other thing we have is crossplay. When you do play the angler, you can play with all of your friends, no matter what platform they're on, all at the same time, on the same server. This is so exciting. This is something we've been wanting from the Hunter Call of the Wild for a long time. But we have to remember that the Hunter is six years old and this is just about a brand new game. So we finally have crossplay and now we can play with all of our friends regardless of what platform they're on. And that is a huge, huge benefit. Another really cool thing I like about the angler is that it shows what everyone has caught on the screen. So we can see where the good spots are when someone catches a diamond. You can just see where they are and mark that location on the map. That's another thing I really, really like about the angler is the waypoint system. I would love to see this added to the hunter call of the wild. You can actually mark right on the map where all your hotspots are. If you see someone catch a diamond in a certain location, put a marker on it, mark it as that fish species, and that will be on your map for you next time you play, and you'll know where your hotspots are, and then you don't have to remember everything. Or be pulling up screenshots left, right, and center. Very, very helpful. So, good job, EW. The Angler is an open world game, which means that you have different environments with low elevations and high elevation mountain rivers, lower elevation waterways with warmer rivers, and it's just such a huge, vast map. There are definitely hot spots for different fish species, and they do overlap, and you can mark your map with those customizable waypoints, which I absolutely love. The other thing I really love about the angler is that golds and diamonds in the angler are way more rare than they are in the hunter call of the wild, making them way more special. I love that about this game. So up here on the screen, this is the amount of coins that I have. I've had four golds, one diamond, and zero legendaries so far. So it just gives you an idea of how special golds are. Definitely way more special than they are in the hunter. And I think by making golds and diamonds more difficult, people are just going to try harder and play longer and enjoy those accomplishments way more in the end. So that is a big bonus. Another thing with the angler is that you can change your difficulty in the game simply by changing your gear up. If you are looking for more of a challenging experience, you definitely can create that for yourself. There is definitely a very large species diversity. So with the update that brought eight new fish species to the angler, we now have 21 fish species on this map alone. And if you actually click on each of the different species, First and foremost, it will tell you your highest trophy for that particular fish. And yes, I got my very first diamond fish last night. And I am pretty darn excited about that. And I am only level 23. So, and I just started a few days ago, really. I have been playing pretty hard, but it has been an absolute blast. I am enjoying it way more than I expected to. Now, I love how the game is set up here. So when you click on any particular species of fish, it will give you all the information that you need. It will show you a really beautiful image, the name of the fish, the best weight, length, best score, that's your best score, their habitats, and their bait and lure preferences. Now you can press tab and it will go into more detail. So you can actually just go in here while you're playing and check which bait or lure you need and that will help you right while playing the game. So it's a really great resource and you can actually see what your highest trophy is of each individual species just by the corner. Right at the top there I have a gold, that one's a bronze, that one's a diamond. I think that's pretty cool. Now all the missions are set up in here under journal and there are lots of missions and missions are an amazing way to level up, learn the game and make some serious XP. Now at first when you are getting started, it can seem very overwhelming, especially with the gear. At first I was just like, oh my gosh, 
<laughs> there is a little bit of a learning curve, but it actually makes sense and it's not as hard to understand as it looks. You will get it pretty quickly. And I definitely will be making guides on the game very, very soon. So the angler is realistic, but it only can be so realistic. It can only be realistic up to a point. Some players want a really realistic experience. And if you are one of these people, this might not be the game for you. Most people who want a really, really realistic experience are avid IRL fishermen. But for them to make the game extremely realistic would actually cause the game to be slow and boring. It is a game after all, and its purpose is to have fun playing it. Not just have fun, to have an absolute blast. And that is the experience that I've been having so far on The Angler. If you enjoy fishing games, sim games, if you enjoy The Hunter Call of the Wild, I really think that you will really love playing The Angler and it is continually improving. Now here we have the map here. Definitely does look a lot different from the maps in The Hunter. So with The Angler, any dot of water, any water on the map at all, you can fish there. And fish are generated daily. They are daily spawns. They are unique to that day and they are unique to the elevation, the temperatures, the depth of the water. This all affects which fish will be generated in that water. And there are definitely hot spots. And what I love, and I think this is a new feature, is you can add your own hot spots to the map. So I added this right here as a largemouth bass hot spot. You click add a marker and then you pick which marker you want it to be and then you can actually click and set a label and you can make it a hotspot for any species including the legendaries and it can be moved and changed or removed at any time. This is a sweet feature. This will definitely help us to remember where all the best spots are. You see here on the left, these are all the people on the server and it does show what they have recently caught and the size and the metal ranking. So you can actually see when someone gets something pretty sweet. If you see a diamond or a legendary being caught, you can simply just open your map, figure out where that player was and put a hotspot marker there. And that will definitely help you to find what it is that you're looking for. I think that's pretty brilliant. Now, going back to the point that this is an EW game, that is a very good thing. Over the past year, The Angler actually came out a year ago on PC. It just came out at the end of August on console. So it's new to console, but it actually has been out for an entire year. And during that year, EW has continually updated and fixed this game. And it is just a completely different game than it was a year ago. They have made so many improvements and a lot of these improvements have come from community feedback because EW wants to make the game that we want to play. They want to give it the features that we are looking for. They have added one new DLC map and that would be Norway. We'll actually go in there. Now look at this insane scenery. Oh my gosh. Like that is just beautiful. I've actually never been on this map yet. And they will continue to support the game with regular updates, with bug fixes and fixing any issues. And of course, continue continual improvements to the game. EW makes pretty awesome games, I have to say. Now, let's talk about things that could be improved. Currently, there is no way to change the time in the game aside from changing servers or simply waiting for that time to come around. Will this be changed in the future? Maybe not. I mean, they're not personally owned servers, they're community servers. So how would that work? I'm really not sure. If you guys have any ideas, definitely leave them in the comments. And also I would love to know what level you're at in the game and when you started and what you think of it so far if you are playing the angler. And also there could be more realistic animations but for the most part, the game is doing pretty great and it will continue to improve. So if you do like fishing games, sim games, The Hunter Call of the Wild, I definitely think you will enjoy the pace and graphics of Call of the Wild The Angler. Now, I believe the base game price is $30, which isn't really that much for a game, but I personally am loving this game and I think you would too. So if you want to give it a shot, I definitely would recommend it. If you did enjoy the video, guys, hit that like button so you will be recommended more content just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will definitely see you guys in the next one.